Spring Runners Healthy is a top priority for the Christie Clinic Illinois Marathon. Race Medical Director Dr. Nathan Walker and Race Medical Coordinator John, or Jill Racco are both with Christie Clinic and they're both here for this morning's Trend to You. Thank you for being here. Thanks for having us. Thanks, Dr. Sir. Walker, first just explain uh, what the goal is this year to make sure you're providing uh, top quality medical care to all of the runners. Well, our goal is to be the safest race in the Midwest, basically, and I think we're well on our way. We've made a lot of changes this year um, to improve that. One of them is in a catastrophic kind of event where somebody goes down, mm -hmm. we want to be two minutes away. So we were brainstorming about how to do this. Basically, we want a first responder to be there within two minutes. Mm -hmm. So basically, this year we went all mobile, uh, not completely mobile, but we have 10 golf carts that'll be kind of surrounding the course, coursing through with the runners. We have several other mobile units with that. We have five aid stations on the perimeter as well. So we're going to be close to any runner whenever they have a difficulty. What kind of problems, Jill, do runners encounter on race day? The biggest thing that we had last year was overheating. Yes. The weather was warm, it was very humid. We had a lot of people that were dehydrated and really overheated. Mm -hmm. So how do you prevent something like that? Do you try and get the word out or how do you help them? Well, you're right. Uh, getting the word out is the most important thing. Runners knowing what they're up against is probably the most important thing to prevent injury. Mm -hmm. We found that runners who are novices, um, they may not be used to the conditions. They might not know that when the temperature is 70 degrees or 65 degrees that they need to run a little bit slower, mm -hmm. that they need to take more fluids. The hardcore marathoners hardly ever have problems, but sometimes they do. Sometimes they collapse uh, when they cross the finish line. Mm -hmm. Of course, there's always musculoskeletal injuries like ankle injuries or straining your knee or something like that as well. Jill, how do you find the, uh, the staff that helps support every medical team on race day? We're really uh, lucky this year. We have um, Carl and Provina kind of working with Christie Clinic this year, so we're going to get a lot of our medical staff both from those hospitals and clinic as well as from Christie Clinic. Um, and then we do have a few jobs that we're kind of looking for what we would consider lay people to kind of help out with. So um, I believe next week the volunteer module goes up on the website, um, and then anybody can sign up through that. Okay. Talk about, too, any tips that you can give uh, for the runners right now if they're starting to feel, you know, that they need some help, where should they go, who should they turn to? That's a good question. Um, you can see your doctor. That's one thing. They mm -hmm. can give you some suggestions about how to prepare. You probably should be already running right <laughs> yes. now. If you want to do the half or full, yes. if you want to do the 5 or 10K, then you still have a little bit of time. But uh, just getting out, getting the miles in ahead of time, mm -hmm. knowing what you're up against is the most important thing. I think finding a buddy to run with mm -hmm. or a group to run with is really uh, helpful because it gives you accountability. It's also more fun to run that way. What changes have we seen, too, between the first and second year to now? Well, we, we're really working on this. The, the best way to provide medical care here is integration of a lot of different services, a lot of different groups of people, mm -hmm. and collaboration. We want to be excellent through collaboration. So we are working together at the highest levels with the fire department, the police department, both Urbana and Champaign on both of those, Carl and also Carl Hospital and also the EMS services there, Christie Clinic, Provena Hospital, and we also have a lot of friends in the Illinois Emergency Medical Society. Uh, they are basically EMTs that are trained at the University of Illinois, they're students, and they volunteer. There's almost 50 volunteers from there. They provide a lot of the care inside the hot or inside of the stadium as well as on the um, golf carts. Mm -hmm. So collaborating together, and then we have a system of communication. Everything gets bounced to the command center, and then it's routed to the right person. We know exactly where the runner is. It, the information gets to the right person. They know what to do exact, um, you know, in a very short amount of time. So we found that collaborating together and communicating is probably the best way that we can do this. Good. And also finding volunteers from all over the community. We really want to work together to make this the safest race. So Jill runners can really feel like they're in good hands. I sure hope so. <laughs> Very good. And like you said, you need to get running, but if you haven't signed up yet, you can still sign up for the Christie Clinic Illinois Marathon by going to IllinoisMarathon.com. Lots of options for you to choose from if you are a beginner or a uh, experienced runner.